Thanks for stopping by. Today we're talking about the difference between fruits and veggies. For example, did you know that pumpkin is a fruit? And strawberries aren't actually a berry. And a tomato? You'll have an answer to that by the end of this video. To understand how fruits and veggies are classified, we need to cover some very basic plant anatomy. So nearly all plants consist of a root, a stem, and some type of leaf. And some plants also produce flowers. Got it? Fruits and vegetables are classified based on what part of the plant they come from. Fruits form from the flower of the plant, usually the ovaries, and contain seeds. Vegetables are essentially any other edible part of the plant. Uh, these could be roots, stems, or leaves. Let's look at some examples to illustrate the point. So apples are a well-known fruit. The apple tree blossoms or flowers, and then apples grow from those blossoms. Additionally, apples contain seeds. How about potatoes? Obviously a vegetable. They are the root of the potato plant. Celery is a vegetable, though its edibleness is arguable. It is the stalk of the celery plant. As mentioned earlier, pumpkins are a fruit, along with all varieties of squash. They grow from the flower of the plant and also contain seeds. Carrots, broccoli, lettuce, and rhubarb are all veggies. Oranges, peaches, and bananas are all fruit, but so are corn, pea pods, peppers, avocados, olives, and cucumbers. They all grow from the flower and contain seeds. And if that's not enough, there's even more controversy surrounding fruits. Strawberries and raspberries are not berries, but guess what are? Watermelon, bananas, kiwis, and eggplants, to name a few. To be a true berry, according to science, the fruit must develop from just one flower that has one ovary, and strawberries and raspberries violate this. I'll link some articles below that go into more depth on these topics because it's pretty fascinating. I want to add a little note here about mushrooms. They are not a fruit or a vegetable. They're a fungus. People eat fungus. Now onto the infamous tomato. What do you think, a fruit? A vegetable? Botanically speaking, as we have been, it is a fruit. However, there was a court ruling in the late 1800s that deemed tomatoes a vegetable for customs and regulations and cooking purposes. So now you understand the controversy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. And the learning doesn't end here. Check out some of my other videos and subscribe for more great content. I'll catch you next time.